<laughs> Hi, Mark Savage here with Savage on Wheels. We're jeeping today, baby. We're going off-roading, uh, a little bit anyway, and we got some snow here in frigid Wisconsin. We're single digits today, so we're gonna hurry this. Uh, this is the Rubicon. 4xE means it's got some electric power front and rear, uh, and gets us about, what is it, uh, 275 horsepower, I think, Paul, something like that. Yep. So it gets, it has a little get up and go. Got big all-wheel, all, -wheel, all Terrain tires, look at that. Those, Those are big are tires. Monsters. You got the little Jeep down there, that's cute. Yeah. Easter egg. Easter egg, that's nice. And of course, a little blue trim saying we got electric in here, right? Yeah, blue. Gotta have blue. Gotta have the blue. Otherwise, it's not an electric. We got four doors so we can get more people around, bounce around the back. Actually, it's not too bad a room in there. Of course, it's got a canvas top, so it's a little chilly today. That uh, is my favorite roof, though. Yeah, it is cool. And they got the speakers up here, so mm -hmm. you, you know, get a lot of noise in here. Let's take a look in the back. This is the only thing that drives me nuts about all of the off-roaders. They've got the big tire. Blocks your yep. view a little bit. You got this funny little thing. Okay, if you're loading groceries, boom, that was easy. In fact, I did that last night. This kind of flips up now when you're short like me. It's like, oh, baby, that's a tall one. Okay, but, you know, it's all right. You got some you know, uh, space there and blue tow bars. Yeah, you know, I'm going to tell you a little secret here. Yeah. You know what's worse that with that big tire is if you're taking off uh, the roof, Yeah. it can lead to divorce if you do that with your <laughs> wife. Trust me, I've done that. Okay. All right. Well, well there's another Easter egg. Let's get inside and, uh, and then see what it'll do. Inside the Jeep, got the blue trim around the steering wheel and around the seats. Uh, nice seats, nice and comfy. Got the good side support, good back support. Uh, of course, just the normal shifter here. Then we have this, uh, the shifter for going off-road. I'm in four-wheel drive uh, automatic right now, so it can, knows what it's supposed to do, but we can slide it over here into the part-time. We also have a way to unhook the sway bar if we're going on the yep. crazy rock Done climbing. That. Yep. Uh, and it, uh, you know, I, the only thing that for me is a little odd, all the windows right here, but... That's I a Jeep thing. I understand that because you can take the doors off, you can take the roof off, you can do all that stuff, which is great in the summertime, right, Paul? But not so much now. Not so much when this it's This roof not... will not be coming... I think it's 8 degrees today, so... Yeah. Ooh, nice. Big air vents, that's good. Uh, it's an easy dash. I think the numbers are a little bit small over here. I don't know if you can see those, Paul, but... Uh, I've only done four miles with the electric right now because I didn't have much of a charge when I first got it. Now I've got it up to 16 miles of charge. It'll get up to about 20 to 21 miles per charge if you plug it in, uh, you know, overnight. I plugged it in actually for several hours and got about eight miles. I, th I thought that was pretty good. Um, so it, it's a nice interior. You got the grab bar. That's a, yep. that's a pole. It doesn't have the overhead, but you got two here. Right. So oh, that, I got one up here. Yeah, that's good. So that works. That's yep. good. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, it's it's not fancy because it's a Jeep, you know, and you want to have it be more rugged. You just want to be able to grab hold of the one good thing. Heated wheel today, buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Heated wheel. Is wow. I think that's a, is that a first? I don't know that we've had one with a heated wheel before, but we've had heated seats, which we have right now. Which yeah. I forgot to turn yours on. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> My butt's a little cold. Yeah. So we're going to take this into the little bit of snow we got here today, and we're supposed to get a little bit more tomorrow, but, uh, you know, I'll test it out then. Now, do you think I need it on anything other than automatic? Or four? You're good. Okay. Yep. Need to disconnect the sway bar. Nope, you're good. <laughs> We're not doing any wild off roading here. <laughs> no, this is mild off roading just to show that we can do it on our private yeah, private here, course. Here we go. This is a little, yep. little bump. <laughs> oh, hold on there, baby. Hold on. Now you're, now you're going. The alarm. That's my seat belt. Yeah, I know. Okay, hold on. We got to get through a deep one here. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> there. Wow. wow, okay. That was a little deeper than we thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the problem with snow, man. You can't quite tell. All right. All right, so we just uh, took the uh, Wrangler off-road for a little bit. It was a lot of fun. We had a big, big rut back there. Surprise rut. Yeah, a surprise rut. That that shook us up a little bit, but that's what this is, makes the fun of having a Jeep, right? You're going to yep. go off-road. You're going to bang around a little bit. And, and have some surprises. It's kind of, you know, I used to snowmobile a lot and that's the same thing. You're out in the, in the fresh air, having a good time, uh, banging those ditches a little bit. But uh, I think I misspoke earlier. I think when we were talking to Intro Paul, I think I said this has 275, it's 375 horsepower uh, because the engine, the gas engine, which is a two liter uh, I-4 turbo, 
yeah, only, yeah, only, has 270 horsepower right off the bat. So you add the two little electric motors, one's like 34, one's like 100, or nearly 100 or something. So we get it back up to about uh, 375 horsepower. So that's that's pretty good. It's significant for a Wrangler. It's for a, yeah, for a Wrangler, this is that's nice. And you know, it's a little growly mm -hmm. the engine, as we've had said before. And a lot of times, these little turbos, yeah, a little growly. Of course, we got the off-road tires that makes it a little noisier. Not as noisy as that Bronco. No, remember that thing. This that, is quiet. Compared, this, yeah, this, this is Cadillac quiet. This compared. is Cadillac quiet compared to the Bronco. Um. Anyway, and again, uh, you know, we're not looking at this to be an off-road uh, luxury vehicle. We're looking at this to be an off-road vehicle that we can have some fun with and bang around a little bit. Uh, we're going to take it around some of the area streets and stuff here now, just see how it handles on the road, on the regular street. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, what I like about Jeeps, Paul, I know you do too, is how easy they are to handle. Because this thing, you know, it turns on a dime. It's got a real short turning radius. Right. And that's a lot of fun. It's, good. it's great in parking lots. I yep. know that. Even with the big tires. Even with the big tires, yeah. You know, they've grown a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Rides a little bumpy. Well, it's, it's, it's a Jeep. A Jeep. <laughs> it's not a Cadillac. It's not a Cadillac. Yeah. Or a Jaguar. And that Bronco we had, which really, that's the most comparable thing I think we've had. Right. You know, the Bronco Sport is smaller and it rides like a car. You know, because it's on the escape platform. Uh, the Bronco is a big truck, and the, you know, anything like this with a body on frame, it's just going to ride a little rougher. So, Paul, I know you're a Jeep guy, and you love this top. Tell, tell us why you think this is a cool top, and this is the this, the Sky One or something. Touch well, power top. here's why I like it. Okay, the past two Wranglers we had uh, came with a hard top and a soft top, and to take that so the hard top off on the back, like yeah. I told you before, it's tough. It's two. It's a two-person job because <laughs> not only is it heavy, yeah. but it's bulky. Yeah. And yeah. I can tell you, uh, almost ended in divorce <laughs> twice <laughs> okay. until I did a hoist where I finally got it off. This one, you don't have to power worry about back. that. Yeah, it goes power. all the way back. And then the back windows also come out, so you've got the roof off, yeah. and you don't have to worry about moving the top back right. and forth. So then you can just take your doors off. And right, and then up. you can stay married, too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's an advantage, that's for sure. And uh, it's only $4,145 to add that on. Well, when you consider there are aftermarket ones that yeah. uh, do convertibles, uh, actually there is a convertible option for this. Those are those start at five grand. so right. it's... Not a bad deal, right? And you know, and this one adds uh, also these leather seats, which is uh, almost two thousand dollars. And while they're nice, I don't, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Like especially if I'm out banging around, I'd just soon have like, well, actually kind of a cheap vinyl would be easier <laughs> to deal with. But hey, uh, and then the other thing here is a cold weather group that co it costs about twelve hundred dollars. But get, that gives us the heated seats and and boy and the heated steering wheel. Yeah, that's a must-have. And the leather wrap steering wheel, so we've got to have that here in Wisconsin. After we got done shooting, I couldn't resist the temptation to take our 22 Compass through the same ruts. And it doesn't have the same approach and departure angles as the Wrangler, but it did really well. I was really pleased with it, and it was a lot of fun. hybrid power Jeep. We can plug it in, charge it up, get a little extra. This one starts about $55,000. Uh, well, all of the four by east uh, with the four doors start at 55. This one starts about 60 because it's the Rubicon. It's a little bit middle level. There's four trim levels all the way up to 63 or 4,000. You add some on, it could probably be 65 or 6. If you just want to go beat one around in the bush uh, and you don't care about the electric quite so much, about 30 grand to start there, Paul. That's not too bad. No, I like that a lot better. That's a lot better if you're going to scrap it. And it weighs it, less, too. It, yeah, yeah. This thing weighs 800 pounds more. I do like the lights on these things here. And I like the little blue trim on them. That's kind of fun. 